perhaps the most striking area of human understanding which cannot be totally simulated computationally is mathematics. This may seem odd, as mathematics might be thought to be a quintessentially algorithmic science. In many areas, like the carrying out of long division, it is. But in others, it's quite a different story. Now, we've been looking at our times tables, and we have noticed, or rather you have noticed, a very interesting pattern. In a very general and basic sense, although computers can follow rules, they can never understand those rules, which is what we can do. If we've got three groups of two, we can represent that like this. Where I have now three groups of two. I put them together in an order, but we've got them there. One, two, three. Each group with two in. Yeah? An example. Okay. How do we then know we that A times B will always like equal this. B times A? where A and B are ordinary numbers. If we substitute actual numbers for A and B in each case, we can work it out. They also give us the same answer here, 6. It is also clear that the computer can work this out as well. But how do we know that this is true for any A and B whatsoever? We don't even have to know that 3 times 2 is 6 to see that 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. We know that we have six crosses, they could have been sweets, apples, whatever in your problem, but we have six of them in both sets. Are these two groups the same? Are they the same? Look at them. Are they the same? Kia? Yes. Yes. I've got the same old cross inside, but they mean flipped over. Rather than flip this over... The children can see that it is, and we can understand along with them. To, to us, it's shape. obvious. Casper. Rotated it. We've rotated it. We've turned it or rotated it round to make this shape. Now imagine the numbers are much larger. We don't have to count them all. But if we know there are A rows and B columns, then we know there will be A times B altogether. We can turn this round in our mind's eye and see that this must be the same as B rows and A columns. No matter how enormously big the numbers A and B, we know intuitively that A times B will always equal B times A. But a computer can only work it with the actual examples. And since there are infinitely many actual numbers, no computer, no matter how powerful, would ever be able to finish the computation which would enable it to prove, merely by calculating, that A times B will always equal B times A. Of course, we could program the general rule into the computer, but it would not know independently of our telling it. It could not see, as we can, that the general rule must be true. Indeed, we could tell it that sometimes A times B is not equal to B times A, and the computer would have no way of telling that that was wrong. 